Juan Carlos. Hello, Nelson. Hi, Cesar. Hi, Giovanni. Hello, Mario. How are you today, Carlos? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Juan Carlos, how are you today? Bien, teacher. Bien, bien. Okay. How was work? ¿Cómo el trabajo? Pues, Relax. gracias a Dios. Gracias a Dios, fin de semana. <laughs> Relax. No. Relajado, no. No, siempre. Oh, siempre cargado, pero, pero ahí vamos caminando. Pero contento porque era ya weekend, ¿no? Sí, ya. Todavía el sábado un poco. Sí. Emerson, how are you? Viene el camino, Emerson. Viene el camino, viene el camino. I am driving. Look at the road. Yes, I am in the traffic. No sé si se dice. No, it's a heavy traffic, ¿eh? Ah, ok. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, let's see. Janet Guzman, Nelson David, Cesar Severión, Giovanni, Mario Eduardo Martinez, Gomez, Melissa, Dennis, and Wilfredo. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Doing great. Hi, Wilfredo. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. What's well, uh, a quiet day at work? Quiet day. So that means that it was boring. Mm, a little bit boring. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Well, it's, it's, it's better to, to have something to do instead of be boring, right? Time, it doesn't, it doesn't move when you're doing nothing. It's the, the days are longer. But if you're busy, the day goes by so quickly. Yes, that's true. That's right, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, today, we are going to be still talking about uh, the pressing continuous, but uh, from a different point of view. We're going to be talking about questions with the present uh, uh, continuous. How to make questions because uh, that's uh, is what we are going to be practicing. Uh, what to do at the workplace? What are you doing? Yes. When do you do this? So it's going to be like uh, learning how to make uh, the uh, question using the simple pro uh, progressive, the present progressive. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and start with the class in. Uh, Let's see if we can remember how do we start a question when, whenever we use the verb to be or the WH words. How do we start a question or how, what is the structure of a question form? Uh, with the verb to be, it may be, um, to be plus subject. Yes, plus the subject. Uh -huh. Plus verb in ing. Plus verb plus ing. 
Because and the object uh, or complement. And the complement and the question mark, right? Don't forget the question mark. Question mark, yes. Without the question mark, it's not a question. Okay, so that would be the structure that we're going to be using, or we are going to be practicing whenever we write our own uh, uh, sentences. That is the structure that we're going to be using. So, um, so that uh, what do we use this the, uh, this present continuous question for? What do you think we use them for? Para qué piensa que la usamos nosotros a W a la present continuous question? To find information, right? To find out information. For example, um, if, what are you working right now? What are you working on right now? Si, quiero saber información. No es que sea metido, ¿verdad? Sino que solamente quiere find uh, some information. Yeah? For example, if I said, is, uh, is uh, Juan Carlos, is Juan Carlos, Carlos paying, paying attention. Yes. So is Juan Carlos paying attention? It's solo, it's not pregunta. Yeah, I want to, I want to, some information. If he's paying attention, then I will be able to ask him some questions regarding to, in regard to the topic that we are discussing. Yeah. And uh, what would be the answer? The answer, it could be yes, or no? Yes. In the case of yes, we're going to say yes plus a comma. Yes, comma. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Or if it is negative, I would say no. The word no, comma. No, he is not. Or he isn't. Gonna be like in, in a contracted form would be he isn't. So if the question is one card that's paying attention is being asked, then we have two options to answer the question. We can say yes in affirmative way, or we can say no in a negative way. So it would be yes, he is, and it would be a short answer. I don't have to uh, repeat the whole sentence back to the to the person who's uh, asking me. Uh, for information, you just need to say yes, he is, or no, he isn't, or he is not. Okay, so we use it for general questions. We ask general questions about something. Oh, so we can say, is, um, is uh, Emerson driving? Is Emerson driving? What would you say, Wilfredo? Is Emerson driving? Yes, he is. Yes, he is, right? Yes, he is. Yes. That's all. That's all I have to answer. Yes, he is, or no, he is. In this case, it will be a positive or affirmative uh, answer. Yes, he is. If it is not, it will be no, he is. Yes. Um, or I can say it uh, in the workplace, Wilfredo, I can say, it, uh, is uh, Wilfredo, Wilfredo, sorry, Wilfredo working on a new project? Yeah. Is Wilfredo working on a new project? What would be your answer, Juan Carlos? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah. Oh, no, he is. That's a very straightforward uh, answer. Son, son bien fáciles las, las respuestas. Lo único es entender what is the people asking us for. Yeah. That's, that's all. It's like uh, if I said, um, see, is Melissa, 
is Melissa, let's see, is Melissa. Melissa, Melissa going to San Salvador. Salvador. Is uh, Melissa going to San Salvador tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Is Melissa going to San Salvador tomorrow? What would you say, Carla? Yes, he is. Yes. She is, perdón. Yes. She is. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she is. Very good. So that would be the answer to that question. Yes, she is. Oh, no, he is. So that's going to be the type of question that you, you will be asked today uh, in the practice to your classmate. But these are, these are, are not the only uh, questions that we may ask. Yeah. We also can use the WH. Remember the WH words? At where? When? How? Which? Yeah. Why? So we can use those WH words to ask a question. So this question, it would be like an open question. Yeah. A close question is the, the question that uh, you are expecting a yes or no answer. That's it. That's a close question. And uh, it's, it's not a good conversation when you are asking a close question all the time. So the best way to do it is to ask for a, a, a close question. So to find out information from the person you want to keep talking with. And then you throw an open question. The open question would be with the WH, what? Yeah. Um, so we can say, what uh, are you working on yes so this would be like uh, this i cannot uh, answer yes or no i can say that danny 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 what are you working on and what would be danny's answer if i say what are you working on what would be your answer danny mm -hmm. Yes, I am. No. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿De, de? Sí, estoy... Eh, ¿Dónde estoy trabajando? No. No, pero sí estoy trabajando. No. What are you working on? Le estoy diciendo en qué estás trabajando. Ah, ok. What are you working on? Entonces, uh, tú me dices, ¿en qué estás trabajando? I work in, in software development. Okay. Entonces, tu respuesta es, I am working on a new uh, software. Yes, I'm working on a new software, yes. Oh, I am working on a new program. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm working on a, a C++ program. Yes. So, eso sería la respuesta. Si, uh, notice that uh, it's not a yes or no answer anymore. It's something different. You're using something else. So, Melissa can say, what are you working on, Melissa? Perdón, teacher. Repeat. Okay, let's have it. Juan Carlos, what are you working on? I am working on... 
on a new project. Yeah, eso es lo que eh, Denny está trabajando, working on a new project. What are you working on? Okay, you can say I am uh, I am writing writing a report. Yes, I am writing a report. Podría ser en lo que se está trabajando, something that you are working on. So what? I, what are you working on? So I'm working. Um, I'm working on a report. Working on a report. Estoy trabajando en un report. Yeah. Yeah. Por ejemplo, podríamos decir, what is uh, what is Melissa Melissa talking about? Talking about. What is Melissa talking about? Eso sería una pregunta y quién me podría contestar eso. Uh, María, what is Melissa talking about? Uh, Melissa is talking about maybe about uh, her work. No. No, no, dice que esto es, un, es, un, es una pregunta que se hace para saber qué es lo que esa persona está haciendo en ese momento. So, Melissa no está hablando acerca de su trabajo. So, what is Melissa talking about? No, she, um, she is not talking at all, teacher. Ella no está hablando. Yes. Se contesta, no, ella no está hablando. So, en el caso de que estas preguntas son de qué es lo que está haciendo usted en ese momento. What is Melissa talking about? She's not talking about anything. She's not. Esa sería la respuesta. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Ok. Creo que eso es, eso es la andaban buscando vamos a continuar con nuestra reading yesterday alguna pregunta acerca de cómo usar el WH question o o la question using the verb to be on this uh, uh, progressive uh, sentences Those were the simple, uh, present progressive questions. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos, what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to be practicing uh, WH questions and uh, you're gonna think about uh, what uh, your coworker is doing at the workplace and you're gonna ask a question okay just just think just imagine you you are at work right now and that uh, you see that your uh, co-worker is working with something and you're gonna ask a question for example if you see him that uh, he's printing a project you're gonna say what are you printing what are you printing yes a Si tú ves que un compañero está giving out a conference, what is the conference about? What are you talking about in the conference? Yeah. What are you working on? Eso es una, una pregunta solamente. Y Gómez también, una pregunta. ¿Qué cosa que tu compañero está haciendo? Eh, Melissa, una pregunta. Usando esa estructura. Yeah. La open. Open, no, no cerrada, sino que open. Que la cerrada es muy fácil para nosotros y eso no hace mejor que tengamos la, la open questions. Okay. Carla también, Dennis también, Julia María también, Wilfredo también, María y Jesús, Esmeralda Noemí. Hagamos ah, esa, esa oración. Se agarra una Una oración, only one sentence.
Ok, comencemos con Denis. Ok, Denis, déme su oración. Eh, la que había pensado es, eh, what are you doing, doing after English class? ¿Qué haces después de, de ahí? En su trabajo, en su trabajo. ¿no? Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. De un coworker que está haciendo, imagínense qué es lo que está haciendo él, no le va a preguntar qué está haciendo, sino de que, eh, por ejemplo, si está, la, el ejemplo fue, si usted lo ve que está imprimiendo, dice, what, what are you printing? ¿Qué es lo que está imprimiendo? Si usted lo ve que está en una conferencia, what are you talking about in the conference? Es una acción que está haciendo su compañero y usted le va a hacer una pregunta. Yep. Listo, ahorita la cambio. Ok, vamos a ver con Jacob. Teacher, no lo he terminado. Es que me está costando. Es que le está costando, dígame lo que tiene. Es que, como dijo el compañero, pero yo no sé de qué traba, de cómo hacer la pregunta. Como no sé qué hace. Entonces no le hallo cómo formularla. ¿Y la explicación que di no? no? Más o menos, pero no me parece. Yo pregunté si había entendido, me dijeron que todos me dijeron que estaba bien. Nadie me dijo, si eres dicho, no he entendido, por favor, se explique otra vez. Nadie me dijo así. O sea, quiero decirle, quiero decirle una cosa: que estas dos horas que estamos aquí, ustedes están en la clase de inglés y yo veo que se están trabajando en otra cosa, ¿cómo me doy cuenta yo cuando yo hago una pregunta que se disculpe, no lo escuché, me puede repetir eso quiere decir que no me están poniendo atención, y así no es así no es la cosa esta es, estas dos horas usted se comprometió a aprender inglés todos ustedes se comprometieron a aprender inglés, eso quiere decir que no trabajo no nada, no ves novelas no ves partidos, nada, sino son dos horas que usted va a tener perdida la cámara, porque es específico. El contrato dice que usted va a tener perdida la cámara, su micrófono apagado, y que cuando el maestro le pregunte, se pone el micrófono, que la cámara tiene que estar perdida. Solamente cuando tomamos el break, es que la cámara tiene que estar apagada. Porque para qué va a tener perdida. Lo demás del tiempo, las dos horas, no trabajo. Yo sé que si tenemos un día bien agitado, trabajado, pero estas dos horas son de inglés. No es, para, no es para hacer para hacer el trabajo, que otra cosa es para estar en el sí, pues, que, eh, que pongan un, un, un poco de esfuerzo de parte suya. Yo estoy tratando de tener mayor esfuerzo, haciendo lo mejor para que usted aprenda inglés, pero si usted no me ayuda, no se va a poder ayudar. Con atención, Escuchen, la cuando yo le estoy dando la aplicación, y si no entiende, levanta la mano y la ficha no entendí. Con mucho gusto yo le explico otra vez. Pero cuando yo doy el ejercicio y usted me dice, no puedo hacerlo, entonces no está bien. Entonces, no puedo hacerlo, me dice, escuchen. No entendí. Yo le ayudo, no es problema. Sí, les pido por favor que seamos un poquito más responsables con la clase. Ok, entonces, uh, la estructura de, la, de, la, de las preguntas de la WH Question es esta, la que tenemos aquí. Dijimos que la estructura era verb, subject, plus verb, plus ing. Sí, esta es la estructura. Verb, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement. Y para, para formular la pregunta, si es con el verbo to be, dijimos que empezábamos con con el es, yeah. es. Pero esta es, estas preguntas son cerradas, o sea, que la respuesta va a ser solo yes o no, eso es lo único, es Juan Carlos paying attention, yes he is o no he is not, es yeah. Emerson driving, yes he is o no he is not, entonces siempre que usted va a hacer una pregunta con el verb to be, Estamos eh, ya entendidos que la respuesta va a ser yes o no, es todo. Pero cuando usted la hace con la WH, es 
estos, estos productos que estamos aquí, la WH, cuando se hace estas con la WH, eso ya es diferente. Ya, ya esas se llaman uh, preguntas abiertas. Preguntas abiertas quiere decir que usted va a contestar con, va a dar información, no solamente va a contestar y eso no. Y uno de los ejemplos que puse es Dennis, what are you working on? Dennis, ¿en qué está trabajando usted ahorita? Y dice, I am working on a new software. Yes, I am working on an AC++ program. Entonces, la respuesta, si se fija, no es solo yes, I am working, or no, I am not working. Requiere más, that, to elaborate más la respuesta. No es un yes o no, y, y a veces queremos más información. Yeah. What is Melissa talking about? Yeah. ¿De qué está Melissa hablando? Oh, she is talking about a new project that they're going to start uh, working on on Monday. And uh, Nelson and Emer are uh, the, the co-workers are going to be working with her. Sí, se elabora más la respuesta. Entonces, eh, y, y la... Y el, la estructura es, es WH question plus verb, plus subject, plus verb, plus ING, plus complement. So, entonces, solo la, la, la única diferencia de la WH es que la WH va a ir antes, más que ya sabemos, antes del verbo, antes del sujeto, va a ir la WH. Si se fija aquí, WH más verb to be, acá abajo, más el sujeto, más el verbo más el ING, más el campo. Esa es la única diferencia en la, en la estructura de la WH question. Que esa WH word va al principio de la oración. Entonces, cuando usted esté haciendo sus oraciones, así es como la va a escribir. La va a escribir con, con esa estructura. Que acabamos de, de aprender. WH, sería la WH, WH, Plus, WH plus, verb, what are you, verb to be, plus, subject, plus, verb, plus, ing, plus come. Eso sería, that would be, y esa sería la estructura de la WH question. De la WH word va al principio. Entonces, ahorita que estamos haciendo el ejercicio de las oraciones, usted vea ese, esa estructura. Y usted escriba su oración basado en esa estructura. Para preguntarle a un compañero de su, de su trabajo, eh, ¿qué es lo que está haciendo? ¿Con qué está trabajando? ¿O de qué está hablando? ¿Qué? ¿O quién va a estar en la conferencia? Que va a tener, eh, ¿quién, está, ¿Quién va a revisar los correos electrónicos? ¿Quién va a hablar con, con los clientes? Eh, eh, algo así. Vamos a formular una una pregunta basado en las acciones que hacen, las actividades que hacen at the workplace. Eso es lo que se está haciendo ahí. Yeah. Dime, Fred. Hey, teacher, please let me try you uh, the, sent, uh, the, the question. I okay. need to know if I have understood. Okay, that's great. Yes. Okay. Um, My co-worker's name is Eric, okay. right? Okay. Hey, Eric, what are you doing at 9 a.m.? Uh, I'm going to print the planning of labels for packaging department. Yes, yes, basically, yes, that's it. Yeah. See, you can notice that the answer wasn't yes or no. It was more, uh, it needed more explanation. So. You have to elaborate the answer. So that's that's it. That's basically what the WH words uh, makes people to do: to elaborate the answer, not only yes or no. 
Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Good night, teacher. I have a question. I do it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, yes. Um, um, on Carlos, how is your visiting program and how many clients do you visit per week? Okay. Is okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> Yes. You need an answer or Juan Carlos, tell me the answer. <laughs> oh, can I have Janet? What are you? Right now, yes, try to follow the uh, the structure. The structure was uh, WH, WH plus verb, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing. Plus complete. Yeah, this would be the structure that you need to use to elaborate the question. Okay, Esmeralda, can you give me yours, please? Um, my question is, what is Dennis working now? What? What is Dennis working now. ¿En qué está trabajando Jorge ahorita? O ahora. No, usted no. tiene que preguntarle a Dennis a él. Ok. Yes. Dennis, what are you? What are you, Dennis? What are you? Sería Dennis. Dennis. What are you? Working. Working. Dennis, where are you working on? ¿En qué estás trabajando? Okay. Yeah. Dennis, ¿en qué estás trabajando? I working on a new program. On a new program, yes. Working on a new program. Yes, very good. Nelson? Hello. En mí. Ah, ahorita. I am packing to go on the trip. Estás haciendo esta haciendo esta Pues ahorita voy encendiendo la pantalla, solo iba escuchando y más o menos. Okay. Estamos usando esta, 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 esta para hacer, para hacer esta Ok, preguntas. Ah, pues ya se la doy entonces, teacher. Voy a tratar de hacer con ese, con la estructura. Ah, permítame un momento. Ok. What is Luis having for dining? What? Is Luis having for dine, dinner? What dinner. is Luis, Luis ah. having for, for dinner? ¿Sería esta pregunta en el trabajo? No, sería. Sería cosas en el trabajo, ¿sí? Ah. Pero la pregunta está bien formulada. What is uh, Luis having for dinner? Yes, está bien formulada. Ok. Don Carlos, por algo sí es. Eh, Puedo intentar y teacher con una oración. Yes. 
este, when you make your report, when are you making? Se fija, esta es la estructura que, when are you making your report? Porque si nosotros decimos así, when, mire cómo se ve, when you make your report. No sé, la estructura no se ve bien, porque le hacen falta partes a la estructura. Sí. Entonces tenemos que, when, necesitamos verbo to be, are, you, esto necesitamos el verbo y el ing. ¿sí? Where are you making your report? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. Sí, dígame. Eh. Yo, yo lo, bueno, se lo voy a mencionar, yo había puesto, I do report in the morning. I do, I do the reports. In the morning, on the morning. Yes, in the, the morning. Yes. I do the reports in the morning. Yes, David. Entonces, when... Teacher. Aquí va la... Excuse me. Sí, sí, sí. Oh. Eh, aquí va la... Eh, yo mismo me hice la pregunta y dice, Nelson, what do you like about life? <ríe> no sé si está bien. Sí, Permítame, voy a terminar con Juan, Juan Carlos. Aquí, Juan okay. Carlos. aquí está... Okay. When are you making... Making... When are you making your reports? Entonces, I, I am, I am, yes, making them, making them in the morning, yes, I'm making them in the morning, sería la respuesta, I'm making them in the morning, esa sería la respuesta que Ok, gracias. Ok, Nelson. Turn on your microphone, Nelson. Okay. Okay, perdón. <laughs> Me escuchan hoy, sí. Yes. Okay. Eh, dice Nelson. What do you like about life? Eh, eso acerca, de, bueno, está bien. What do you like about life? Mira, lo, eh, esta, esta, déjame explicarte algo. De eso. Eh, esta oración que está haciendo está, está bien, pero no, eh, no cumple lo que nosotros estamos uh, tratando de, de, de practicar ahorita. Si te fijas, esta es tu oración, ¿ya? Aquí, sí. aquí está la estructura que estamos usando. Vamos a comparar tu oración con la estructura, a ver cómo salimos. ¿ya? Ok. Entonces, decimos Nelson, ¿ya? Estamos, estaríamos bien ahí, estaríamos eh, refiriendo a la persona que estamos haciendo la pregunta. Luego tenemos la WH question, que es aquí. ¿ya? Entonces estamos bien con la WH question. Después la WH question, ¿qué miras? El verbo. El verbo, pero este verbo eh, es el verbo to be. ¿Sí? Es el verbo to be. Entonces es el verbo to be. Entonces aquí está, what... Sería R. Yeah. Luego viene el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto que estamos usando? You, ¿verdad? 
Sí. Entonces, vendría el sujeto, el sujeto lo pondríamos aquí. What are you? Ahora viene el verbo. Y es, que es este verbo? Pero a este verbo le falta que el ing. Fíjate que es el ing. Sí. No le falta esto. Going. Y la ing. Yes. Entonces, Nelson, what are you doing? Yes. Our life. Okay. What do you do about life? ¿Qué sería la estructura? En este caso de la pregunta que estás haciendo. What are you doing about life? Ok. Pero Gracias. lo que quiero es que pregunte algo acerca del trabajo, workplace. Ah, ok. Bueno, sigo entonces con el otro. <ríe> Ahorita hago otro. Uh, Carla dice. Yes, uh, my question is, why are you checking the, the weekly agenda? Perfecto, dice. Perfecto. Very good. Good job. Good job. Es una de las mejores oraciones que he escuchado. Very good. Why? Thank you, teacher. Yes, very good. Edgar Pineda. Okay. Um, my question is, who is making the modification to the airplane now? Making the modification the airplane now yes ah, yes perfect make the modification to the airplane now. yes very good excellent good job okay Julia um i uh, esmeralda what are you printing Right now, what are you right? Right, no, con. Eh, right. Ay, disculpe si estoy quedando. W. Que importa. What are you? Alguien ha dejado el micrófono encendido y se le escucha interferencia. What are you? Right, right. Va con doble, ¿eh? Sorry. What are you? Sí. Margarita, what are you? Right, right now. Writing, right, writing, right now. Trabaja en una imprenta, Matuli. Perdón. No. no. Esto es lo que hacen en ese trabajo. Mm. Ok. Pero la oración está bien. Está bien, mm -hmm. bien, bien escrita, está formulada bien. Nada más que no, no está relacionado al trabajo, ¿verdad? Bien, ah, ok. El trabajo, pero está bien, está bien. Yes. What are you writing right now? Está, la estructura está perfecta. Muy bien. Eso es lo que estamos buscando. Que se aprenda a, a, a 
sounds like a structure. Very good. Excellent. Eh, Edgar, ya me hizo su oración. Why? María Jesús Martínez, ¿te veo la oración? Yes. Um, Where are you say the copy document? What are you <laughs> say the copy document? Say the uh, copy. The copy document. Okay. Question mark. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, con la, la estructura que tenemos. Mm -hmm. La estructura que tenemos es el que tenemos una doble expresión, aquí está, ¿ya? Mm -hmm. Tenemos esta doble expresión, aquí está la doble expresión. Luego, luego tenemos el verb to be, aquí está el verb to be, muy ¿okay? bien. Luego tenemos mm -hmm. el subject, tenemos el subject aquí, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Luego tenemos un verb, este verb, que digamos que es este verb, ¿verdad? Ah, me faltó el, el ING. Entonces aquí quiere decir que nos falta cuál. Saving. Saving, yes. Mm -hmm. The copy documents. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que quería decir usted, Valdez? Ah, que dónde guardó las, las fotocopias. ¿Y cómo se dice dónde? Las copias de los documentos. ¿Dónde dice dónde? ¿Cómo se dice dónde? No, es que dije where, no oh. dije what. Oh, perdón, yo lo escribí mal, entonces. Yes, where? Yes, where are you saving? Entonces, esta saving no se usa, sino que keeping. 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 Um, where are you keeping the copy for the documents? Where are you keeping the, 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 the documents? Okay. Yeah. Okay, where are you keeping the documents for the documents? The copy for the documents. Very good. So, tenemos que tener cuidado en la uh, ING. Teacher, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es la diferencia eh, entre el save y el keep? Save. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo puedo usar uno y cuándo puedo usar el otro? Save. Porque yo lo, lo tomaba como save, guardar, pero no sé si solo es a la informática que lo puedo usar. Ajá, save es como, como ahorrar algo, pero save, uh, eh, cuando se dice save the document in your, the, in your USB, o save it in a computer, pero cuando dice de guardar los documentos, es, where do you keep the documents? ¿Dónde es que tienen los documentos? So, where are you keeping the uh, copy for documents? ¿Dónde mantienes las copias por los documentos? Usamos, uh -huh. Save lo usamos para cuando eh, ahorramos algo. ¿Bien? ¿Estamos ahorrando algo o estamos.? Eh, eh, ¿Como ahorrar dinero? O... Save, ¿ah? Uh -huh. uh -huh. money are you saving for week? Where do you save your money? What bank? Uh -huh. your money? Entonces, uh -huh. a veces usamos, pero save documents no es seguro para guardar así que documentos. ¿no? Keep your documents. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Um, ¿Alguien más nos falta? Janet. Teacher, es, eh, le dije al principio, pero no sé si está bien. Y se la, voy a repetir la misma para que me corrija si estaba mal. Eh, le decía, what are you writing now? Está cumple con, la, con, con los requerimientos. Por ejemplo, si le tendría que poner un nombre, José, por ejemplo, José, what are you writing now? No, no sabe, what are you writing now? Y ahí le, le va a contestar. Very good, excelente. Estamos bien ahí. Ok, entonces, uh, that is how you 
write uh, a WH question with the uh, uh, progressive of the season, uh, of the season, but using the present continuous. It's also a present continuous question. But it's okay, like I said, like, do no era present continuous question. Present continuous siempre va a llevar el verb to be. This is simple way about the top of the Estamos con eso y el primer ayer hicimos la lectura y solo que solo leyó uh, Mario y Janet. Tenemos que leer ayer. Bueno, y si nos puede evitar Jonathan y Nelson. Okay, teacher. Okay. I'm, I'm arriving right now, así que. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emerson. Okay. Um, ¿Quién empieza? Yo. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, uh, Nelson. What are you What are you doing right now? Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Estaba bien abajo. <laughs> Perdón. This, uh, Jonathan, uh, good afternoon, Jonathan. Where well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What it is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at six, uh, six, era esa, six, six thirty a.m. And first the thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well. I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on, on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Switch. Hoy empiezo entonces. Dice, Good afternoon, eh, Jonathan. Good afternoon, Jonathan. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Nelson. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new time in San Salvador. What is our time doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to do your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my emails. And you? Well, Arrive at seven or seven, seven, come on, this seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. The letters is to pick up the letters, is to the pick up the letters. Okay, very good. Okay, if I can have Janet. Janet uh, with Juan Carlos, please. Perfecto. Por, por favor, las damas. 
Okay, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Janet. Well, I am play, planning a video conference. Oh, the, con the conference with uh, the new team in San Salvador? What is uh, our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your to your workplace? What is what that first things do you you do? I usually arrive at six thirty a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Letters, yes. Letters. Good job, good job. Maria and Margarita, please. Good afternoon, Maria. What are you doing right now? Hello. Good afternoon, Maria. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Margarita. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference by the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your work, please? What's the first, the first thing do you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or the 7 at 30. In the pens of traffic, my pitch activity is to, is to pick up the letter. The letters, yes, very good. Good job, uh, Margarita. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. Both and Dennis, please. Hola, teacher. Uh, ¿Me fue? Sí, Dennis Ramos y Marco. Good afternoon, Jacobo. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, right? Uh, good afternoon, Dennis. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes. It is. They are getting 
are ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What I do you usually get to workplace? What the first thing do you you do? I usually usually arrive at 6:30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive I at uh, 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the, the letters. The letters. Okay. Break the switch, please, please. Good afternoon, Dennis. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ako. Uh, Ako, right? Yes. yes. Good afternoon, Ako. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference, the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My fair activity is to pick up the letters. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Good, good job. Um, email and uh, Jorge, please. Email and mirror. Yes. Good okay, after. I. Inicia. Daddy. Yes. Good afternoon, Jorge. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Good, sorry. Good afternoon, Imer. Uh, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, is it? They are getting ready, ready for the conference in the morning room, meeting room. I see. What time do you do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6:30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7:30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good, good job. Switch places, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Imer. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Jorge. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is all your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to you, your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well. I arrive at 7 or 7.30, it depends on traffic. 
my first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good, excellent, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. A cool roll, and then we're gonna take a break. Okay, Cesar, Manfredi, Sergio, Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. I I go. I okay. I I arrive to my house. <laughs> You, uh, Dennis Vladimir. Present. Present. Thank you. Emerson Kelly Moreira. Eric Armando Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramos. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramos. Present. Okay. ¿Y el otro quién fue? Present teacher. No sé si me escuchó que se me trabó cuando empezó a pasar lista. ¿Quién? Eli. Emerson, Eli. Sí. No te escuché. Ok. Emer uh, Alberto Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez. Present, teacher. Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Present, teacher. Present. Jorge Alberto Arellano. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Morales Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Julia Margarita Chicas. Present, teacher. Martínez. Present. Present. María S. Martínez, Mario Osvaldo. Present. Present. Thank you, Melissa Esther Orellano. Present. Thank you, Nelson David Tejada. Present. Thank you, Wilfredo Antonio Duro. Present. Thank you, Janina Patricia Díaz. Kenia Judith Peña. Miguel Ángel Espinosa. Esperanza Noemí López. Present. Carla Lisset Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. And Janet Esperanza Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Alguien que no lo haya llamado. Ok. Let's take a, a 10 minute break. Enjoy your break. Thank you, teacher.
Carlos. Okay, with Fredo. Let's try to read it. You're gonna be uh, Brian, and I'm gonna be Raul. Okay, teacher. Let's go. Okay, good. Um, good afternoon, Vidal. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, uh, Brian. Right? No. Good afternoon, Wilfredo. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the video room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? Workplace. What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check uh, my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7 Terry. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good. Good afternoon, uh, Fred. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Vidal. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good, good job. Um, Dennis? Hi, teacher. You go first, Dennis. Ah, okay. Eh, sería con usted siempre. Yes, more. Yes. yes. Good. Good afternoon, Vidal. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Dennis. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is, what is, pardon, what the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or, uh, or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick, pick up the letters. Good afternoon, Dennis. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Vidal. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. Oh, so uh, you do the first thing, yes. Uh, well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first thing I do is to pick up uh, the letters. Good, good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, Jonathan? Jonathan? Okay, Janet? Oh, sorry, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember your name. <laughs> oh, 
You can say teacher or Antonio. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, uh, um, Jonathan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the, the letters. Very good. Good afternoon, uh, Jonathan. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, teacher. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my emails. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good. Good job, uh, Jonathan. Janet, please. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Hey, good, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? I am Antonio. Hey, good afternoon, Antonio. What are you doing right now? Uh, good afternoon, Janet. Uh, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They're getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually do? Um, usually get to your workplace. What, uh, what's that first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends, depends uh, on traffic. My first activity is to pick, to pick up the letter. Good afternoon, Janet. What are you doing right now? A bit, please. Good afternoon, Janet. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Antonio. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace and what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first things I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the nets. Thank you, Janet. Okay, Juan Carlos, please. Good afternoon, Antonio. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Juan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? 
I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity, activity is to pick up the letter. Good afternoon, Juan. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Antonio. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace and what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good, Juan Carlos. Good job. You're Julia? welcome. Good afternoon, Antonio. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Julia. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to do your work, please? What the first, first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I am right at 7 or the 7 tiers. It depends of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the lyric. Good afternoon, Julia. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Antonio. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are in writing, getting ready for the conference in the main room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace and what's the first thing you do? I usually are at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up letters. Very good. Thank you, Julia. Uh, Jorge? OK. Uh, Good afternoon, Vidal. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Jorge. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. <laughs> What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing what you do? First thing. I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do. AM, and the first thing. And you? I do. Julia, Julia, to microphone. Uh, come on, teacher. <laughs> yes, and you? Um, well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good afternoon, Jorge. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Vidal. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for this conference in the meeting room. 
I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace and what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the lettuce. Thank you, Mone. Uh, email? Good afternoon, Antonio. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Emer. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They're getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good afternoon, Emer. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Antonio. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up lens. Very good, good job, Spencer, good job. Okay, let's see if I can get the second. Uh, Esmeralda, please. Good afternoon, teacher. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Esmeralda. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They're getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you, you do? No. De nuevo, de nuevo. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you do? Okay. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity, activity is to pick up the letters. The letters. Good the letters. Yes, yes. The letters. The letters, see? The, the letters. The letters, yes. The letters. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah. Good afternoon, Esmeralda. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, teacher. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, a conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the mirroring room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at seven, uh, 6 at 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check in my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Dollars. Good job, Esmeralda. Let's see. Mario Osvaldo. Ahorita, ahorita. Good afternoon, Antonio. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, uh, Mario. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What, <clears throat> what is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. 
they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What I do usually get to workplace was the first thing you do. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It's depend of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, good afternoon, Mario. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Antonio. Well, I am planning a video conference. The conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually read at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check in me emails and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, the letters. yeah, excellent. Good trabajo. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Um, Melissa, who gets early at the workplace? I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> Who gets mm -hmm. at the workplace? No entiendo la pregunta. Early, ¿qué es? Early es temprano. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué quieres que te ayude? De todo lo que estamos aquí. Menos el teacher. <laughs> And... Mario. Melissa. <laughs> Me está preguntando directamente a mí o es referente siempre a lo del diálogo. Es, es esta, who gets early at the workplace? Es a, a, a referente al diálogo. Tienes que leer el diálogo y ver quién que llega temprano. Llega más temprano. Earlier es más temprano. Raúl. Raúl, yes. Who gets early at the workplace? Raúl. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Carla, what is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? Topic is a topic. Yes. Uh... Um, the topic is the acerca del nuevo team. Me escuchó. Sí, sí, acerca del nuevo team. This is the conference with the new team. No es que se están hablando. La pregunta 
Cafeteria. What is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? For me, it's three topics. The first is planning video conference. The two is, is the new team. And the third is um, the, um, the first activity. El topic es de lo que están hablando ellos, ¿verdad? Y la pregunta es, ¿cuál es el es topic de aún en los que en el caso de la conferencia? Yeah. The, the, the new team in San Salvador. Is it serious topic? The, what is topic, teacher? Topic is a topic. Learning. It's a topic, teacher. Es que no lo mencionan, teacher. O sea, solo dice de que está preparando la conferencia, pero no dice sobre qué. O sea, eh, la respuesta de la otra persona es si es la conferencia del nuevo team en San Salvador, pero en realidad no dice de qué, qué es en sí lo que está preparando, a mi punto de vista, y según entiendo. ¿Qué quiere decir esto, Vic? ¿Qué? ¿Qué quiere decir qué? Uh, teacher será donde dice de check e email. Es que es el afternoon, vaya, right? well, I am planning a video conference. Dice que Raúl es planning a video conference. Dice, um, que él contesta, oh, the conference with the new team is in Salvador. Sí, es con un nuevo team, va a ir a dar la conferencia. What is our team doing right now? Ya te preguntas el team, pero nunca, nunca me No le entiendo qué dice. ¿No? Nunca, nunca menciono un topic. O sea, vamos a hablar de esto, vamos a hablar de esto. Y después dice, I usually, I see what time do you usually get to your workplace? What Teacher. Alguien ha dejado abierto el micrófono y casi no se le yo casi no le entiendo. Por la televisión. No sé. Teacher, ¿no será que están hablando que la planeación del de la videoconferencia? Ese sería el topic, no. Planeación de the planning on the conference, pero no lo menciona, ¿verdad? Es ese, planeando la video conference. Yes, uh -huh. Planning a video conference. So, ese sería el, el tópico de planear la conferencia, pero no menciona que eso es en realidad lo que se trata. Es lo que de ellos, que ellos están hablando y dice, I am planning a video conference. Y ese es Raúl, es el que dice que va a jugar ese tópico. Ah, por, porque Ryan, Ryan le está diciendo que es, es lo que está haciendo el, el equipo ahorita. Así le dice. Este, y ellos ya lo, ya lo tienen listo. They getting ready. O sea que ya lo tienen listo. Ese es el topic. Eso es. No hay otro topic ahí. Si todos lo ven, eso. Everybody sees that. María, ya sé, está en pico. María es donde está aquí. Ok, y esto uh, es, es uh, lo que vimos de hacer para el simple present, general information. I check my email every morning. Esto es uh, uh, simple present. He writes reports about meetings, simple present. She audits, inventories, 
simple present and they arrange meetings simple present. Mm -hmm. Pero ya aquí, es, I am planning a video conference, ¿sí? Esto es lo que están hablando ellos, es el topic que eh, están hablando. They are getting the documents ready. Getting, es sería el present continuous. She's editing the information, editing sería el present continuous, and making, es sería el present continuous ahí. César, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es cambiar esto, este, este verbo, el present continuous. Complete the sentence with the present continuous. En la primera, es given to us. Dice, Thomas is printing the contract. Si se fija, estamos usando el verb to be, más el verb, plus el ing. ¿Sí? Esa es la, la estructura que vamos a usar. María Jesús, hágame la número dos, please. Number two for me. Okay. Janet, la número tres. Eh, César, la número cuatro. Carla, la número cinco. Y Melissa, la número seis. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Very good. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Very good. Number three. He taking care of ever, ever, uh, everything. Um, he? Mm -hmm. In the quick is he? Taking or? Taking. Necesitamos el verbo to be, necesitamos el verbo y el ing. He are taking? No, porque he no va con el R. Yes. He no va con el R. He is, he is taking. Taking care of everything. Very good. Number four. Everything. Number four. I am paying, I am paying attention to the structure. Very good. Number five. She is preparing the briefing. Yes, she is preparing the briefing. En caso de que es un abogado, ellos preparan un brief, briefing. En la audiencia. Okay. Yeah, es un briefing, teacher. Briefing es, es como cuando usted presenta un caso en, la, en corte. Ese es el briefing. O sea, usted todavía no se presentan las, las, las pruebas ni nada, ni testigo ni nada. Nomás es un briefing. Es, lo que usted dice acerca del caso. Eh, en, esta, en este día estamos presentando, eh, dice, el, el, o sea, dice, la ciudad de San Salvador está presentando cargos contra el señor titulando de tal y se le acusa de esto y esto y esto y esto. Ese es un briefing. Que usted presenta. Algo que usted quiere presentar a alguien acerca de un, un asunto, cualquier asunto, ese es un tema. Como la introducción del caso, algo así. Sí, ajá. Okay. Eh, o sea, un briefing es un abreviado. Ajá. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Number six. They are sending the products to the warehouse. Yeah, they are sending the product to the warehouse. Eh, ¿Saben qué es una warehouse? No, teacher. Le iba a preguntar. ¿Una bodega? Una bodega. No, pero es, es una bodega grande. Sí. La warehouse. La bodega muy warehouse. Eh, store, que sería una bodega pequeña. Pero warehouse, por ejemplo, tenemos a uh, Price Mart, que es una warehouse. Sí. EPA es una warehouse. Okay. Eso se considera un warehouse. La, el grande. Los productos, es una web. Ok, y aquí, right in the box of the activities you usually do on Monday morning. Esas actividades usted las va a escribir y ahora tiene acceso en el trabajo. Y um, este, este diálogo, lo vamos a poner práctica. 
de qué es lo que estamos haciendo en ese momento. I am signing some papers on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. Las cosas que está haciendo. Uh, I am talking to colleges and checking reports. Las cosas están usando and para unir esas dos, uh, esas dos stars. And who is analyzing the advances of the company? Here it is. He is the king of the line. Recuerda que es la WH, estamos usando la WH para hacer ese tipo de vida. Ok, entonces el diálogo este eh, lo voy a leer para que tengamos más o menos una idea de cómo se debe escuchar y las últimas palabras. Hola, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? I was. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some papers and on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleges and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Colleges, bueno, son, son colegas. Es son los los colleges. Ok. Vamos a, a ver a María y Carla, por favor, lean este diálogo. Hello, Hello María. <laughs> Sorry. Te te asustar. Hello, María. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Janet. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payroll on Tuesday and sending email on Wednesday. And you? That's, that, that is okay. I am talking to college and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, very good. Switch places, please. Hello, Janet. Guard, guard. Sorry, uh, I am Carla. Carla. Es que Janet, Janet tiene la, el micrófono abierto, pero pensé que era ella. Este, hello, Carla. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Maria. Well, the, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some signing, signing some payrolls on payrolls on Tuesday and signing signing signing, signing emails on Wednesday and you that's okay I'm talking to college and checking reports and who is analyze, analyzing the advance in the company Peter is Yeah, analyzing the advances. The uh, payrolls, uh, uh, ¿alguien sabe qué son payrolls? Planillas. Planillas, sí, son planillas. Son planillas. Todos uh, 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 accounting departments. Yes, very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent job. Okay, so, eh, hemos tenido una noche tarde muchas cosas que hemos practicado bastante la, la lectura y lo que voy haciendo es lo que hice hoy de nuevo y si se fijaron pues tuve unas uh, lecturas one to one con los estudiantes para que usted vaya agarrando más o menos la velocidad y los acentos y la fluidez que se necesita para poder eh, leer de una forma fluida en confidence Sí, ajá, desde el principio estaban ustedes, ustedes uh, hablando, ¿verdad? Leyendo uno y leyendo otro, pero si se fijaron, cuando ya estuvieron leyendo conmigo, se sintieron mejor. Porque 
iban oyendo el acento, iban oyendo la fluidez, iban oyendo la, la word stress que se hace en las emociones. Y así usted va a ir imitando ese sonido y esa velocidad. Recuerden que les dije que la fluidez no quiere decir que voy a tener más rápido, sino leer bien y uniendo esas palabras. Felicitaciones a todos los que están en el curso y cada día se ve un avance en el momento. Tenemos a Juan Carlos que está avanzando muy bien, está empezando a dar una fluidez tremenda, aunque es lento, pero la fluidez que se va escuchando en sí o que ustedes también están dando en ese momento. Voy a pasar lista y ya volveremos a clase. Tessa Manfredi. I'm here, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, Dennis Vladimir. Thank you. Present. Edgar Vladimir. Present. Eh, Emerson Eli Moreira. Presente, teacher. Armando Torres. Present, teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexandro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Email Alberto Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you, Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Reyana Martínez. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Morales Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Julia Margarita Chicas. Present teacher. María Jesús Martín López. Present. Thank you, Mario Osvaldo Martínez. Present. Melissa Esther Orellano. Melissa. Present. Thank you. Nelson David. Present. Thank you, Wilfredo Antonio. Present. Thank you, Janina Patricia Díaz. Delia Judith Peña Díaz. Miguel Ángel Espinosa Ramírez. Esperanza Noemí López. Present. Thank you. Janet Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Y Carla Lizeth Valladares Flamengo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Gracias. Doctora María Jesús Martínez López. Gracias. Los demás, I see you Monday, have a good weekend, and uh, take care of yourself. We didn't say mucho. I see you. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Maria Jesus, como está? How are you today? Uh, bien, teacher, gracias. Está cansadita, ¿verdad? Sí, estoy teniendo una semana muy pesada. Sí, se, se nota. <risa> Mire, pero ya se arregló de las, las alergias, ¿verdad? Ya no Dice que sí, lo que pasa es que, como le comentaba ayer, estoy en un proyecto para la otra semana que, que es en la, en la bodega general de la fábrica. Entonces, eh, bueno, ahorita, bueno, por lo menos hoy trabajamos en el, en el plan que se tiene que tomar en la bodega y ya, ya seleccionamos el personal que, que lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero ah. igual tengo, tengo que ir a la bodega a revisar eso. No sé cómo voy a hacer el día, porque me da alergia al polvo. Sí, aunque se ponga la más. Sí, es que dentro de la fábrica es obligatoria la mascarilla. Se pasa la mascarilla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O yo soy muy alérgica. 
porque hay, hay muchos que trabajan en el área todo el día, pero no, no, no se ponen así. Uh -huh. ¿Y esa, esa fábrica, o sea, telas o la metálica, qué es Es una fábrica de calzoncillos. Sí, es fábrica. O sea, uh -huh, es una fábrica, sí. Polvo de tela. Sí, hay mucha, mucho residuo de tela. Uh -huh. Está sumado al polvo y, bueno, otros factores ahí como químicos y todo eso. ¿Está en el Opango o está en el... No, es, es en American Park, sobre la carretera Santa Ana. Es más o menos como por Ciudad Arce. No escucho. No escucho. Ahora sí. Es como... Es una maquila, entonces. Es una maquila. Uh -huh. And you supervise uh, the uh, production or, or are you... Uh, an account. You are an accountant. Yes. Uh -huh. Why do you have to go to the uh, floor and check the, uh, the production if you're an accountant? Uh, because in the, in the warehouse, I have to many doc many old documents and actually the the the, the factory needs to change the product for the next month and we need more 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 space for 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 introduce new machines and my my papers and my many boxes of papers uh, i need to get out Get out of uh, the. You need to move the mouse. Yes, and in this, this is a big break because mm, I need to reorganize the document and another and translate to other place. And you need to relocate the documents. Yes. In our boxes and boxes and boxes. Uh, uh, the company use a uh, big big box uh, called the unipack this is a this is a big for two meters two meters two two or three meters is is a big box and um, and i need to move a little box i need to change because the new the new space is a big little and is a, a small Okay, the new place is a small place and big boxes will not fit in there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work. And and I, for example, in today, the other boxes send me 12, 12, 12 person to help me in the month. 12 people. People. 12 people, yes. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, in people, uh, plural. Uh -huh. ah. Okay. Irregular plural, se llaman esos. Plurales, plurales, irregulares. Como cuando dices children, ya es plural. Plural. Sería child. Uno. Child and children. Y a children no le ponen la S, porque le ponen la S y a no. Es un irregular. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. So, it sounds very interesting. But you have to yeah. work in there. It's very interesting. Uh -huh. Ok, and uh, where are you thinking to uh, put those boxes? What, in what area? Is it still in the, in the arts or somewhere else? Uh, repeat me, please. Where are you planning to put those boxes? Where? ¿A dónde estás pensando? Es corta. Oh. Where are you planning to put those boxes? Mm -hmm. It's in, it's in, uh, it's in, in another area for shipping. 
but the problem is uh, the space is small and I need to and I need to out the old document, the big boxes, a little boxes. Okay. And how much time do you have? Yes, in but only have two days for this. Is is very stressing, but but the new but the next week I need to I need to um, uh, severance. I need to severance forty two person. A uh, person, and I need to uh -huh, forty two person for the next week, and and I need to and I need to make many, many things to, to this. That's very stressful. Isn't it? Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's complicated for, for the next week. So you don't sleep? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, but, uh, but I, I, feel, I feel sad for the people because, um, I, I I saw the people for 20 years and, and it's very it's very sad for me because the people say say sad but nothing you can do huh? uh, no, let's put you. there is nothing you can do. Yes. Yes, I can, but it's sad. <laughs> it's sad, really, it's sad. It's sad. Okay, okay Margarita, and, and uh, uh, how do you feel that the classes are helping you? It's pretty good. I, 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 I'm learning. I'm learning new words. I'm learning to use the uh, pauses. No sé cómo se dice. Pauses, pauses. Pauses. Yeah. I need. Uh -huh, I need to to. I learn to use the pauses. I I like this class. Yeah, very good. Because I I heard that you have a, you have been improving a lot. Thank you for that. Thank you for your participation. Se, se le corta la, el audio, teacher. Yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your participation. Um, you're welcome. Okay, um, that's it for tonight. Uh, have a good night, and I see you on Monday. Good good night teacher see you bye bye